we begin this week's recap with the colorful sunrises and especially sunsets you've been sending us from across the state. They have been beautiful, and the reason for them is interesting. They're a result of the wildfires out west. Smoke particles kind of playing games with the sunlight coming through right around sunset. We had some fires of our own this week, on the roads in particular. On Monday, it was a car on the Merritt. Michael got some shots. On Tuesday, Michelle sent us this scene from 84. Also Tuesday, Joanne showed us how a motorcycle burned in Wallingford, basically melting the ground. Wednesday in Wallingford, several of you got shots of a truck fire on 91 that had traffic at a standstill. A few hours earlier, firefighters were busy at a building in New London. While this weekend fire in Norwich burned the Sakalowskis out of their home, an AT&T worker accidentally started it and the family made an appeal to the company while talking to Absolutely. news aides, Tina Detel. AT&T needs to step up and, and do something and what they've done so far is just displace us. Firefighters in Norwich were also busy filling the boot for MDA. These kids sold iced tea to help the family of the East Haven plane crash victims. Rosie's lemonade stands fighting cancer, while Northern Mutual wrote a big check for the Connecticut March of Dimes. People got money to raise money for epilepsy at the annual volleyball tournament in Middletown, while in Milford, folks came together for another August tradition, the Oyster Festival. Hiking Mount Washington in August means you don't need your heaviest coat, but you are treated to quite a view, as Jim showed us in these pictures. Before long, this will no doubt be snow covered. Now, it may be a little too early to talk winter, but it is time for students at Winter Green Magnet School to go back. Finally, the moon, and not just any moon, a blue moon. We got a bunch of photos, really nice photos, from people like CJ, who was obsessed with shooting it this week. We can see why. 